Oh, good day, everybody. So last night we had blackouts in the Yarra Valley and pretty much across Melbourne. Uh, when I looked last night, there were 70,000 houses without power in the Yarra Valley. We've had flash flooding all morning as well and all night. It's been raining ridiculously. So we're about to go out and do a bit of exploring around Warburton and see what the damage is. Uh, when we checked this morning, there was nearly 200,000 homes without power. And also there's potential for this to be a three-day blackout in the valley. So it'd be really great if old mate Elon Musk could wave his magic wand and we could get a few Tesla mega packs over to Melbourne to help us stabilize our grid and keep power on when this kind of thing happens. So yeah, myself, Johannes, Jazzy, the Greyhound, and Marianne, my wife, are all going to go on this little adventure. And we're going to go down the street, have a look around, and see what's going on. So please like the video if you do enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel, you'll see all kinds of content, mountain bike riding, uh, even videos about ovens, all great things, kayaking, all the good stuff. So let's go for a bit of a wander. So we just got down to the river and yeah, it's um, about three times higher than it normally would be. This is the highest I've ever seen the river, I think. Um, be interesting if we can actually walk around the normal loop we do with Jazzy every day in a raincoat. So, yeah, this is uh, Brisbane Bridge, one of the iconic landmarks of Warburton. And it's pretty, pretty chockets with water. Good day for kayaking. I should go get my um, polo boat out, come down the river in that. That'd be rather exciting. Car park's flooded. Oh, that river is heaving. <laughs> I genuinely want to get my boat out and go paddle that. Look at that. Oh, that'd be so fun. Johannes isn't very impressed. <laughs> what do you reckon, mate? We're going to have to walk around the road, I think. So there's usually a little um, walking track along the river that we're going down here, um, which I've absolutely no doubt is going to be covered in water. Well, there you go. I don't think we're getting through here today. It's Mount Little Joe up there. Let's go take the roadway around, I guess. So we're just walking along the roadway, Dammons Road, um, to go around the river to get to the main town. And yeah, this is normally just a little stream, like a little river, but right now it's absolutely raging in Warburton, the Yarra. It's a lot of debris on the road. And yeah, the power lines are apparently down, all down the valley. So, yeah. Yeah, this is definitely one of those times that I wish I'd already installed solar on the house and got the battery. Or even a generator would be good at this point. I know a bunch of people in Warburton use generators, which is pretty smart. I don't have one because we've not suffered a power outage of this scale before. Just like, you know, they're usually planned outages and they're usually a few hours, three hours at the most kind of thing. And they let you know when they're happening. We do get occasional blackouts that last up to an hour, but yeah, this one so far has been, well, it happened last night, maybe, I don't know, seven or eight o'clock, and it's now mid-morning the next day, and potentially, yeah, going to be going on for the next three days, I've heard rumours, um, so we will see. I wonder what Jazzy's thinking. What the hell is going on is probably what she's thinking. Johannes is thinking, I want that camera in my mouth. That's what he's thinking. 
They usually walk across that log down there. That tree. And this is the swing bridge in Warburton. The river walk. It really is a river walk today. You must walk in the river. Yeah, wow. Look at that. That's a huge amount of water that's come down. How many, um, how many gigalitres of water do you think is coming down the river? 136 gigalitres is coming down the river right now. Uh, very approximately. A deluge. Yeah. There you go, Johannes. What do you think, mate? It's a lot of water. Oh wow. It's ride time where I recently picked up my new bike from, my e-bike. <laughs> wow, wow, we wow. It'll be um, interesting to find out from our friend Gareth, who's a Welshman. Just my dad is also called Gareth and is a Welshman. Uh, but my my mate Gareth from Polo, he works for um, Downer, which is a high voltage power line company, and he's having to go into work today at 4 p.m. and has just heard that it's really quite bad the um, the outages. So it'll be interesting to see what the time predictions for the re recovery of the power is um, from them so we'll find out but yeah it's very impressive to see just the scale of the weather what what it's done to Warburton look there's a log floating down the river there you go incredible scenes a log in the water look at that Oh, bloody tree coming down the river. So here we have the uh, lovely river walk in Warburton. A nice little outcrop here that you can stand on and watch the ducks just there and uh, you can usually just meander down that little bit there on the little where those trees are actually is a little island that you just go across a couple of little rock steps and you can just take a little wander in serenity past some lovely ferns and some natural beauty gently wander out onto that platform and watch the river gently flow by take a seat oh my feet got wet <laughs> Johannes is whinging. What do you think, mate? What are your thoughts on this issue, Johannes? Huh? What have you got to say for yourself, boy? What do you reckon? Yeah, it's uh, 
going to be busy after the flood. Bit of clean up to do, most likely. Everyone's coming down to check it out. Look at that wave, there's a little surfable wave there. Tree wave. To get your playboat out and do a bit of surfing, if I had one. <laughs> have to take my carbon boat down. It's a lot of water. Marianne's waiting because there's another dog and Jazzy's super reactive. Jazzy reacting strongly to the presence of another dog. Look at that. Look at my gorgeous wife. Do a spin. Local bakery and the ice cream shop up there. I wonder if anything's open on the main street for a coffee or breakfast. Because we've got no power, we had to eat um, rice crackers. <laughs> rice crackers for breakfast. They were good. Yeah, jams and stuff. But yeah, I wouldn't mind a coffee. I'm wondering if there's any of the shops has a generator running and are able to make coffees because that'd be just bloody wonderful. Woo! Look at that. Do we have a wander down the main street quickly? Let's have a look. Looks like absolutely nothing is open on the main street, which means I can't get a coffee. Wait, somebody, oh no. Let's go have a look. Maybe there's something open in Warburton. So we're in lockdown in Melbourne. We've got floods, we've got no power. We've been in lockdown for the past week, or two weeks now. It's been a two-week lockdown. So I think we've had something like 130 days of lockdown in Melbourne over the COVID period, uh, where we weren't allowed to do things like move out of five kilometres of our house. We had four reasons to leave the house for most of it, which was shopping, caregiving, exercise, or medical appointment. I can't even remember now. Um, I should know because we had a lot of it, but yeah, we pretty much stayed at home. And yeah, many people's incomes obviously were cut entirely or cut in half. Businesses have been struggling, particularly in the Warburton and the more, um, we're, we're classed as metro, but it's we're 77, nearly 80K from the city. And the Queen's birthday weekend's coming up this weekend. and. Unfortunately, lockdowns have been applied so that you can't leave more than 25 kilometres from your house. So that's pretty much wrecked any accommodation or weddings or anything like that within the valley for the Queen's birthday weekend, the long weekend, which is a huge one for the local economy here um, and a lot of other places like Dalesford. But it is what it is, I guess. Um, not to get political about it, difficult decisions to be made on all parts, but yeah, very hard for businesses. Even myself, I'm not able to go out and earn any money right now during lockdowns, uh, zero income, because I don't apply for the, I don't fit the, the government's um, criteria for businesses that they're giving money to, unfortunately. So, is what it is. Oh, three sugars might actually be open, which would be bloody wonderful, because I would kill for a coffee. Oh, they are. Three sugars to the rescue. Somebody's got a generator. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Three sugars with the goods. The only cafe open in Warburton today. And they're going to be absolutely heaving in there. The only place to get a coffee fix while the power's out. <laughs> So we're just passing the SES and I bet they're absolutely flat out today. We're just heading down to get some um, food from Woolies, Marianne's driving. 
Johannes is asleep in the back and we put Jazzy at home. We're just gonna go get some supplies from Woolies and I'm pretty sure the road just ahead in Gladysdale Bakehouse area is absolutely flooded so we'll check that out on the way through. Um, yeah, luckily the rain is easing a bit. Sorry, I'll put the window up because you probably can't hear me. Luckily, the rain is easing a bit by around 1 p.m. in the valley, which is good. A bit of a reprieve. Because, um, yeah, there's a bit of carnage about in, yeah, just you can see some shops having to use pumps to get water out of their properties and things like that. And there's a lot of rubbish on the road. Um, so, yeah, interesting times. We get, get it all in the valley. Fires, floods, wind, power outages. So, yeah, if Elon Musk, if you're listening, mate, we'd love a mega pack battery in the Yarra Valley. I'd love one at my house specifically if you want to donate me one. Horse poo, only $2. If you're ever in, a, in need of horse poo, you can come to Gladysdale, get it for two bucks. So, this is the, the little Yarra. Is So there you go, bit of water on the road. In uh, Gladysdale, near Gladysdale Bakehouse. Coming into Yarra Junction. How exciting. Not as, not as exciting for the business owners in the valley. Marianne's just drenching the place. <laughs> A bit wet. <laughs> what fun! <laughs> there you go. So we're shopping in the dark in Woolies in Yarra Junction today. All the lights are out. Low power consumption on. Baby's asleep. No what? So pleasant. So yeah, quite lovely, quaint. So we got um, lockdowns, virus, power outages. Is that it? For now. <laughs> Can't work for now. And it's like uh, it's a little bit like a zombie apocalypse in this shopping centre. <laughs> Everything's. You look at the shelves; they're bare. See? Look at that. Zombie apocalypse shopping centre. One step away from getting the chainsaws out and fighting off zombies. And the roof's flooding in the shopping centre as well. There you go. People are wondering why I'm filming, but because I want to. <laughs> We're just working out all the things we can cook without electricity because we don't have a stove or anything. So we're going to do like overnight oats. We can do chia, chia seed pudding as well and many other things that you don't have to cook. So I've now got no uh, phone in Warburton either. No reception, no internet, no service um, on the phones. So, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. The river is heaving. We've got um, no power, no internet, no phone reception. We're in a lockdown. Just the analog life. Standard, standard life. <laughs> Check out this. And a lot of water. We're not short of water in Warburton. Look at that. This truck here is Gypsy Love lives in that. It's got its own little wood fire and everything. And I know there's a cat and a dog. 
that live there as well. That's the sanitarium building over there. It's where we played lawn bowls at the bowls club. So they used to make wheat picks there and actually just in this area here is the old railway train turntable where they used to turn the trains around when there used to be a railway line which went along here. And this is uh, where the IGA is in Warby. Let's see what's down here. Let's all go at the IGA. Looks like they got power on in there. The pharmacy's, pharmacy's open. Doing better than they are in Yarra Junction in Warburton. And that's the old um, sanitarium building there. Where they made wheat bix and probably cookies, but definitely wheat bix Signs publishing, they publish some kind of signs, I don't know, street signs or something. <laughs> some kind of signs they, they publish at Signs Publishing. East Warburton's that way. Johannes is asleep again. Just a tiny bit more flood watch with Matthew and Mary Ann. This is um, just down from our house where we often go walking with the doggo. That's absolutely all flooded. All through here and that bridge we often cross to go over to the IGA and the Oval. Uh, there's usually a good two or three meters below that of clean air and then water and rocks, but not at the moment. Yeah. And we just got a message from Osnet. The message from Osnet was, the severe weather overnight caused power outages and extensive damage to the network. This is a significant event. It may take several days to restore power to everyone. As areas become safe, our crews are assessing the damage. Power has been restored to 30,000 customers with up to 200,000 homes and businesses still off supply. So yeah, obviously there was at least 230,000 homes and businesses out of supply at the moment. Um, there you go. So we just quickly popped up Mount Donabuang to see if there was any snow. It's probably a bit hot anyway, but um, yeah, loads of trees down on the road. We got as far as, we're probably only about five minutes from the top here, but um, whoever had been up throughout the day before us gave up at this point because you can see there's just like, there's another, I can count probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine trees down in the next like 50 metres. So whoever was cutting them down on the way up gave up at this point, which is fair enough. Um, and yeah, there's been heaps of lyrebirds on the way, foraging like on the middle of the road. Um, and yeah, the road's atrocious. So that's what's happening on Mount Donabuang. I'll get Marianne to hold the camera while we go down so you can have a look at the carnage that's on Donna. So it's 6.5 degrees where we are now. So yeah, the whole way up there were many sections like this where there's people have been up before us and um, cut paths through the down trees, but yeah, they stopped where we just were then. So we'll get up in Toboggan in the next couple of days if it's cold enough, which will be great. Looking forward to the tobogganing. There's a lyrebird. See, there's, there's a whole family of lyrebirds. They're the things running across the road. Where? Oh yeah, there they go. They run like they're in trouble. Get him on camera. And there's some more in the middle of the road. Actually have reception. It's so funny. There's one.
Donna is pretty trashed the road on the way up. Lots of lyrebirds. The other native bird other than the lyrebird up here is the wingless stonefly, which are tiny little things um, that you might see scurrying across the road. There's another lyrebird. Probably need a few cars to drive up and down here to help clear away some of the junk on the road. So we're doing them a favour. Even though probably the road should be closed. <laughs> Emergency services probably haven't had a chance to come up here yet. There's a bit of snow on the road, a little bit. There you go. Run away. Oh no, go, go. the lyrebird. They can mimic any sound, chainsaws, laser beams, camera clicks, kookaburras, they're absolute masters of mimicry these things. Super cute too. Let's go see how damaged it is over here. Not too bad. This thing wobbles around when you're on it. Well, there you go, that's uh, been what's happened in Warburton over the last couple of days. We've had Floods, power outages, everything, virus, no work, lockdowns. So yeah, exciting times in the valley. So good news, the power came back on Saturday morning, 1.15am, which was this morning. So we've got power back in Warburton, which is great for everybody here who's fully electric like we are, but not quite off the grid as yet. Uh, yeah, so we can have hot showers and cook food, which is fantastic. It's been a pretty manic few days. Um, well, yeah, it's been 
what was it, Wednesday the power went off. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, so almost four days, um, we had no power. And yeah, flooding, which has subsided a bit, which is great. Um, it's apparently been in, I think, Yarra Glen and Geralgan. Geralgan was definitely evacuated. Yarra Glen possibly as well. All this water probably made it down there. Um, and they're in a pretty low-lying area. So, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this little journey with us through the Yarra Valley's floods and power cuts and lockdowns and everything we've had. Um, it's been exciting. And yeah, see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment below if you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you think and see you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.